Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I'm glad to welcome you to the first Brisegate workshop, guested by the Inspire Conference. And my name is Rafael Ideolici, I'm the project coordinator of Brisegate. And within my first slide, within my first slide, I would like to introduce you to the agenda of the workshop. I will personally start with an introduction of the work project. I would like to give you an outlook of the Brisegate activity. We'll follow a short pilot description on the use case requirement analysis. In the middle of our workshop, we will face actually a survey of existing web services together with the extension of temporal dimension to existing metadata model. And we will conclude the workshop presenting to you the system architecture of Briseida and we will conclude with the exploitation activity. Hopefully, if we will have time, I hope that you can provide and support us with a fruitful discussion. So, Briseida is a project supported by CAP, ICT Policy Support Program of the European Commission in the area of geographical information. The duration of the project is three months. We start in March 2010, and the total budget of the project is 3.8 million euro. The project consortium is composed by a number of private companies, as well as public agency and research institutes. Now, namely, the Gobierno of Navarra, 52 North, CCSS, Instituto Geografico Portuguese, INSPRA, Provincia Autonoma of Trento, Geofoto, Exxon and Synergies, Technological Athenas Forum, GC, the University of Western <coughs> Tracasa, and University of Rome La Sapienza, and the region. As I said, the project is coordinated by Fondazione Grafite, and we are in liaison with ENEA, we say the project, and the Joint Research Center of the European Commission. Which is the main aim, the problem that we try to face within the we say the project? It's about the temporal dimension of geographical information. The use of geographical information require reconsideration of time-spatial counting to achieve optimality geoprocessing services, essential in environmental management as demanded by planner and decision makers. With a few exceptions, current guidelines and the standard do not provide for such information within the geographical information. Beside most of the activity in the exploiting and interoperability of geographical information has been founded by a number of initiatives of, by the European Commission, as the Global Monitoring Environmental Security and the Content Plus Program and INSPIRE. And it is the aim of INSPIRE to fill in this gap. In fact, it should be noticed that the current implementing rule only considers four temporal elements, which are contained within the metadata element temporal reference. The temporal extent of a given resource, the resource of data creation, the resource of data publication, and the source of data of last revision. But in, we don't have any information about when a specific event is going to happen and we don't have any information about this time-wise evolution. And last but not least, there is a complete lack of spatial, spatial temporal operator. In a project it's very important to be focused and in this idea, we will be concentrated in civil protection domain. The for we say that will be applied, tested and validated within a civil protection domain, using the SPI relevant theme 
via chain of stakeholder, data provider, technology partner and downstream users. The huge number of natural and environmental disasters has characterized the last 30 years and this proves that climate change is the greatest challenge facing humanity at the start of the 21st century. Failure to meet that challenge raises the spectrum of the unpredicted reversal in human development. The importance of geographical information is fundamental to face such kind of situation. Environmental security of several developing countries is being increasingly threatened by the steeply rising number of natural disasters. And uh, if we compare the cyclone Cedar that killed 3,400 people to the one caused by Gorky that caused more than 140,000 victims, which was a similar cyclone to the previous one, when no working system was no work, warning system was in place to understand the importance of geographical information as well as the temporal dimension embedded to geographical information. And this proved that the most innovative technology as a 3D browser, virtual world and visual analytics can be essential to support emergency response, to help no technical people and to support online disaster response community, integrating both emergency information services and the social network, providing essential update information about the specific disaster that is going to occur. Some examples. Hurricane Katrina, Indian Ocean Tsunami, and the 2005 earthquake in Pakistan prove the importance of a vulnerability assessment and the appropriate use of technology and the interoperability of data in humanitarian emergency and the post-emergency report. But we can recall to our mind the most recent event, like the last week floods in France or the May 2010 floods in Krakow. Therefore, the target user of recent project are civil protection operators and public administration engaged in human planning and management, as well as resource environmental managers and decision makers. This to foster a wider use of spatial data by public and private organizations through valued added services. To promote use and reuse of harmonized and interoperable datasets related to a number of themes within Annex 1 and 3 of this five directive, made or being made available through previous European projects. In this way, we hope, we believe that the Briseida will bring a clear, significant added value to the top of the previous e-content or similar European project. To contribute to the INSPIRE initiative, promoting the use of time as variable, to deliver enabling services for visualization processing and query of time varying information, and to implement the processing services using related standards as the WPS, for instance. The result of the project will be validated by a number of users in 12 months into an operational pilot set in various locations. And we do believe that this is important for a real application of this kind of project. The project structure that is presented in this slide is very simple. The inter-domain interoperability and user requirement analysis will constitute the fundamental of the development and the deployment of value-added spatial temporal services. And this will be deployed into the prototype that will be assessed, as I said, in different locations. In parallel to this, we will build 
appropriate exploitation and dissemination activity, and liaison activity and networking activity with the existing project on board. That are fundamental, but the presented services are not strictly dependent on a specific <coughs> data set and can be potentially applied to many application domains. Services developed will use existing pan European data set made available by public administration, including the regional government and the geological surveyor of Italy and those participating in a number of spy related European projects. So, our approach is based, is based fundamentally on two pillars, on top of two pillars. The use and the reuse of previous existing technology developed in previous project, and the liaison with ongoing and previous European projects, in terms of data and services development. On top of that, we would like to build new value-added services, including contending the temporal dimension and deploying them into our pilot. The pilot operation of planes will last 12 months and will consider real-life events with extension in additional domain, being considered and assessed. And in this slide, you can see the number of pilots we are considering. So, if you are interested, if you would like to support this project, Please follow us on Twitter, LinkedIn, or as usual in our web website www.brisaide.eu. I hope that they made a good presentation introduction of the project and I would like to thank you for your attention.